Hello ladies and gentlemen, excellent Tori here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you're doing amazing because I sure am as always. Now today I have some really great Infinite Flight news that we have all been waiting for for a very long time. Now, um, before I get into the video, please, if you're new here, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, comment down below if you do enjoy the video at the end. And also, many of you were wondering why so many people were commenting that I am a banana in my last YouTube video. Well, at some random point in each video, I'm going to be saying something. And if you say it in the comment section, it's just quite funny. So, at the end of last video, I said, if you're still here at this time, comment I am a banana in the comment section. And everyone did that. So, you know, stay alert for whatever today's comment's going to be. Okay, right, so many of you are aware, Infinite Flight, it does crash for long-haul flights on iOS devices only. Now, if you do have an iOS device and you complete a long-haul and Infinite Flight of 6 plus hours, the chances are upon your landing, the Infinite Flight app will crash. And Felipe has been doing lots of programming and coding to find a workaround for this in Infinite Flight. And if they posted in the Infinite Flight community, it looks like they may have a way around this. So I'm going to read exactly what he said out to you. Quick update. Thank you all for extreme patience with this issue. Just wanted to let you know that we found it a promising workaround for this issue and are currently testing it. Unless we find any major side effect, this should make it into the upcoming release. Um, the reason this took so long to solve is multi-faced. Fa-faced, yeah. Um, the issue is only affecting very long sessions, 6 plus hour flights on elder iOS devices with less than 2 gigabytes of RAM which only represent a small percentage of their very dedicated users. To make it even more complex, it was dependent on your route. If it was mostly over water, there was less chance the app would crash, and your camera was orient um, and how your camera was orientated during your cruise. If looking at terrain, you have more chances of crashes. So, if you did a long haul, so let's say London to New York, uh, most of it's over the Atlantic, so the chances of the app crashing are minimal because less scenery has to be loaded in. But if you're an example, you do London to, let's say, um, Dubai. There's quite a lot of land over that route. Or New York to um, LA, that's a better example. So there's quite a lot of land over that route. Lots of scenery has to be loaded in. So using up much more RAM, which would then result in the app crashing. Um, right, anyway, to continue, also those crashes um, didn't generate any log which made it harder to track at first. So the crashes that happened were not recorded at all on the infinite flight. All those different parameters sent um, us on many wild goose chases before we managed to narrow down the issue to a memory leak inside a third party library. It took a while for the third party to find and fix the problem, and then we had to wait for their fix to be officially released. So the third party app or system, um, the problem was with them, and they had to fix the issue and then release it. So this was not necessarily down to the Infinite Flight programmers. Since we can't wait indefinitely, we ended up working on a different workaround, which took some time, but at least now we have a viable solution. So until the third party app finish it and release it, Infinite Flight have a potential workaround which can fix our solution. This surely have been managed a bit better. It was just an extremely frustrating issue to work on, especially when we have many other tasks to accomplish for their upcoming releases. At the very least, we gained a ton of experience on how to deal with this type of bug in the future. So, yeah, that's right, guys. So, Infinite Flight, they have um, found a temporary workaround. As long as there's no major effects or bugs with this, they will be ready to release it in the upcoming 20.1 update, which should be coming out very soon. If you want to see my prediction on that, I did do a video on it a few days ago, so feel free to check it out. So, if you've made it this far in the video, everyone, comment down in the comment section. Let's go with, I am a apple. I am an apple today. So, comment, I am an apple if you've made it this far in the video um oh boy the comment section is going to be full <laughs> okay right so anyway to continue guys so it looks like they found a temporary work around the solution which is brilliant news to the ear um so also check out my youtube video. now i'm going to be trying to cross the atlantic in a smaller general aviation aircraft if you guys did see my youtube video on crossing the atlantic in a tbn 930 if you haven't check it out i will probably leave a link in the description um, it's a great video. I had so much fun recording it, to be honest, and it was one of the best videos I've probably ever made. So feel free to check it out. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's YouTube video on Infinite Flight. Good night. Find your way.